better when you got the O2 count that run. What's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com. That is Twins prospect Jalen Davis, and check this out. And it comes back and haunts you. Now the 1-0 swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed to left field. Forget about it. Long gone for Jalen Davis. His first home run of the season, and it is a splash. Unfortunately, he tore his labrum in his right shoulders. This pitch is swung on and drilled to center. Going back is O'Neal. He's at the track. He looks up, and it's off the batter's eye. A bank shot for Jalen Davis. As the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and in high in the air, deep left. Sanger at the track. He is looking up. It is gone. Jalen Davis, home run number two on the season. And it right there. I think if you're the Wahoos, you want to come out this inning and, and work some counts, try, you know, try to see some pitches and, and do that. Rip a single into left field as that ball was left up 89 miles an hour, and a good hitter is going to do some work with that. That's a single for Davis. Obviously, the last hit for Davis, the home run, a real crowd pleaser. But just think back to the sound of impact on now each of Davis's last two base hits. That is ball meeting the square middle part of that barrel. It is such a pleasant sound to listen to as a baseball fan. As the 1-1. Swung on and lined through the right side. That's a base hit. Arias will hold it second. And for Davis, he's already got himself. So there's a bit of Jalen Davis. Uh, you don't see him on a lot of the Twins prospect lists, but this is a guy who keeps performing. Uh, he was an organizational all-star at Twins Daily last year. He finished sixth in the sights voting for hitter of the year. And he's off to a great start in double-A with Pensacola. Uh, he's 24. He was taken in the 24th round of the 2015 draft, in part because he was injured in his final year of college. Uh, but this is a guy who can play. You've seen, I'm, I'm showing you some of his hitting highlights here. We'll take a look at that last single one more time. But he's also a good runner, uh, does some good things, especially in the corner outfields, has a great arm, uh, kills lefties. So with that profile, I could see this guy, if he keeps working, keeps improving, cuts down on the strikeouts a bit, he could be a fourth outfielder in the major leagues. That's a pretty big deal for a guy drafted in the 24th round. So a uh, fun guy to watch. Let's keep uh, taking a look at more here. Boy, that was a great swing from Jalen Davis, a short stroke and a ripper into right field. Walk, walk. 1-0, that's a ground ball up the middle. Davis scores from second base on this. Check this out. Ranging over is the shortstop, Baldekeen, but it deflects off his glove. Davis is not stopping around third, and he's going to score. Sheer effort and determination from Jalen Davis. Doubles up the Wahoos' lead. It's now 4 to nothing. after Baldekeen had that bouncing ball deflect off the heel of his glove. As the 0-1 runner goes... Cranston takes low. Here's the throw to second, and that's not in time. Jalen Davis with his third stolen base of the season. Davis is running. Gets a good jump. Jelikowski swings over the top trying to protect the base stealer. Is Salcedo. That's kind of the first time we've gotten to see Jalen Davis' big right arm, and he's got a cannon. I'll tell you what, if that was on the money, he would have had Apologies on the quality of these last two videos, but they give you an idea of how uh, this guy can nail some runners out in the field. Oncoming. Farshaw reaches for it, lifts it to the left field. Coming on is the left fielder. He makes the grab and will throw to the plate. Here comes the runner. Here comes the tag, the slide, and out of the plate is Paven Smith. A double play for Pensacola to end the bottom of the first inning and deny the Generals any chance of scoring. What a play by Jalen Davis, the former Appalachian State Mountaineer. Ian, and then they don't get another until they reach the big leagues. Here's the 2-1, swung on, and that's lined into the right field corner. That's going to get down, and that's going to go all the way to the wall. 
Jalen Davis, the right fielder, gets it in quickly, trying to stretch it into a triple with Sierra. That was a mistake. All right, there's a bit of Jalen Davis. As you can see, he's a multi-tool player. Uh, and those tools show up on the diamond. Uh, he's been one of the better performers in the entire system the past few years. Uh, thanks for watching. Go grab a copy of the Twins Prospect Handbook. Go read the uh, Twins Daily Minor League Reports every day, uh, and you'll keep up to speed on all these guys. Have a good one. Great.